Mrs. Stone was our year eight music teacher. He called us Noah and the Boys. Because he was like, oh, Noah's the singer and the boys. So Noah, Noah like and the boys. The name, the Ryans. Yeah. And we, to ask us yeah. What, changing. what are you guys going to change the name? Like, are you guys going to get rid of it soon or you want to change it later? And I'm like, we're not going to change it. And he was like, it's not a very strong well, name. That's just ridiculous, boys. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we stuck with it. <laughs> My name's Harley. My name's Asher. My name's Noah. My name's Tom. I play the drums in the Ryans. In the Ryans? <laughs> you in the Ryans? I am. I'm in the Ryans. too. Yeah. Wait, you that's guys are so in the Ryans? Yeah. It's so oh, strange. Anyway. Oh, you know? Oh. Okay, that's me. <laughs> the first single, we released two songs at once, and that was Sadie and Halfway Out that we did when we were like, we wrote 15. We were 15? Yeah. yeah. And we did that with a guy named Paul Najar who we met um, in like just our local town. We did those songs with him, and then we released them, and we were kind of pushing them just through like all of our socials and stuff, and then. Well, no, we went to go record another two songs in one sitting, uh, which was Heads to Hurts and Nightlight. Yeah. So then we decided to go to a new studio this time so that we could keep kind of going, spending more money every time. <laughs> Developing. So we decided to go to Forbes because we were tossing up between kind of five producers that we'd been kind of recommended by people in the industry. Yeah. We ended up choosing Callum, which turned out to be the perfect choice, and we went and recorded both songs over three days with him, and then we did release Heads to Works first, because yeah. I think we decided that Nightlight's probably the strongest song, so we'd yeah, we'll say that. Say the best of yeah. 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 And then put Heads to Works out, and did a music video for that. And but to get Heads to Works and Nightlight recorded, we actually had to like get a loan from our parents. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Mum and Dad. Thank you. Love you. Thank, thank you, Mum and Dad. Thank you for paying for that, which turned out to be the, one of their best investments. <laughs> And then, yeah, we released Nightlight, which... Ended up winning Triple J on Earth. Which yeah, we high. And then getting very 51 lucky. in the Hottest 100, which okay. was yeah. crazy. So Insane. our first big yeah. release, yeah. Yeah, not, uh, Lime Cordial invited us to their place. This is our first time even like talking to them face to face, just us. And they were inviting us over to their house. So we went over and we were like, Hey Ollie, hey Louie, how are ya? <laughs> Cause we were like huge fans, like we, we still are. We rocked up like early to the party. Yeah, we rocked up. Yeah, we we like, got there at the time they said to be there. And but like no one had we got there yet, so it was sort of like just lingering around. Yeah, and they were showing us where like they kind of wrote most of their songs and cause we were like super like massive fans that we kind of had to like settle ourselves down further we got to know them. But like I saw the bass that he played Temper Temper on and I was like, oh, can I have a go? Like, and I played Temper Temper, I was like, oh my god, I'm literally really live. <laughs> we kind of just like got to chat more and got a little more, you know, chill. and <laughs> weren't so freaking out. Further down the, the track they were getting, like they were like, oh, here's 70. And we're like, okay. 70 was about the part where we kind of gave up. And they're like, 60, and like, oh, we'll just listen to the on Earth. We didn't even make top 200. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna root for Lime at that point. Yeah, we were like, oh, we didn't make the hottest 100. We didn't make the hottest 200. It's fine. 60 goes by, we're like, all right, whatever. And then they go down 50, and then 51 plays, and it was Nightlight, and we were like, what? Free? Yeah, we just went ballistic, and like all of our mates are there. And Jumping in the pool. Yeah, definitely top five moments so far. Of all time. Sure, yeah. of all time. <laughs> top five college In the Ryan's universe. Man. Yeah. Well, we had been working on a bunch of songs, like have a Google Drive with, you know, like 50 demos and it was really about first narrowing down uh, you know five six songs that we'd kind of focus on and we were lucky enough to be invited to Big Sound in Brisbane. Before our first show we managed to sneak in a session with Chris Collins um, and we met him for the first time and we wrote Take What You Want which is on the EP in like four hours of meeting him. He was just such a perfect match that we asked if he was available and once we had him locked in then we were like okay then let's confirm the five songs that we're going to choose. But yeah for Minivan I think when we were writing that we could just tell that because it's such like a freedom you know road trip song or whatever it would make sense to be the final song of the EP like to close out the show and kind of made its way into being the title of the EP and just kind of the main focus so I think Thank you for having us, Happy Mag. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah.